Who is it? Mr. Dumas, listen to me. I don't want to make this into more of an issue than it should be, but I believe it's in your best interest to let me in so I can speak with you. Just a moment. What do you want? Just to talk. May I come in? Yes, I suppose so. I found your note in St. Denis. How, how oh, did you... Madame, sorry. I'm a private investigator, Mr. Dumas. That's what I do. Now we can either do this the easy way or the hard way. It's up to you. I left that note for Celine. I didn't think anyone would ever find it. So it was you who attacked Madame Dupre? Yes. Yes, it was me. I confess. <laughs> I can't so remember much. the last time a suspect actually confessed. If only they were all like this. But please, Mr. Fordham, you have to understand. The woman is evil. If only you knew what she did. Please, don't arrest me, Mr. Fordham. You have to know the truth about Madame Dupre. Relax, Mr. Dumas. I'm not going to arrest you just yet. I'm perfectly willing to hear your side of the story. Now let's take this nice and slow. How did you come to be employed by Madame Dupre? I used to work in an iron factory in Chomley, but a few years ago, they brought in some steam machines to help production. One of the machines had a problem, and my friend Connor and I were assigned to fix it. We had no idea what we were doing, but we wanted to keep our jobs. I don't know what happened, but the next thing I knew, Connor was dead, and I was badly hurt. I swore never to go near one of those machines again. After I got better, I spent a few months looking for work, but it was impossible to find any jobs that didn't involve steam tech. Then I found out about Madame Dupre. Working at her home seemed like an improvement. I had a decent bed to sleep in. The work was not difficult, and I even made friends with her daughter. But Madame Dupre soon showed her true nature. What can you tell me about Madame Dupre? She seemed like a nice woman at first, but after working for her, I came to know how awful she truly was. When no one was around, she would beat me and some of the other servants for fun, say the most cruel things, Call us horrible names. Why didn't you just leave? She threatened us. Told us she would make it impossible for us to get work anywhere else. It's already difficult enough getting a job that doesn't force you to operate those awful machines. To be blacklisted by Madame Dupre would have been the final nail in the coffin. Tell me about Celine. Oh, my dear Celine. She was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. We were going to get married, you know. Then that devil killed her. She... She beat her to death in front of me. I was powerless to do anything. Please, Mr. Fordham, I don't want to remember. Let us speak of something else. Do you know Albert Martin? No. Who is that? He's Juliet's lover, falsely accused of the crime you committed. I, I had no idea. Are you going to let an innocent man die because of what you did? No. No, of course not. I, I suppose things got out of hand. It was not my intention for someone else to take the blame for my actions. So why did you attack Madame Dupre in the way you did? I knew that if I went to her home and killed her, I would be caught and thrown in jail. I needed to find a way to do it quietly and not make anyone suspicious. Also, I wanted her to suffer for what she did to my Celine. I had read about toxic plants in Juliet's school books, and I knew a bit about them from working as a gardener. So I decided to poison Dupre and make her appear dead so she could be buried alive and suffer the same way she made us when she would lock us away in her secret room. Did you say secret room? Yes, Mr. Fordham. It was no bigger than a coffin. She would place us inside if she was especially mad at us, with no food or water, sometimes for days at a time. We couldn't scream because she would stuff our mouths. She would also plug our ears and cover our faces. How often did she put you in there? Only a few times, but that was more than enough. I'd rather not think about it. So you have no idea where it is? None. I only remember Madame Dupre would say the same thing any time she was about to put someone in there. A perfect servant must behave. I've told you everything, Mr. Fordham. Are you still going to arrest me? I haven't quite decided yet, Mr. Dumas. If I can find this secret room, it would be enough to charge Madame Dupre with a crime. However, if you haven't been telling me the truth, I have been, Mr. Fordham. I swear it. I'll even make you a deal. If you promise me you'll try to find the secret room, I won't leave this hotel. All right, Dumas. It's a deal. Well, at least now we can go straight to Upton and have him taken in. 
Unless you really do believe him about the secret room. Okay, that's dear. all for right now, but I'll be back. Yes, Mr. Fordham. I'll be here. Seems to be what passes for a dresser around here. Hmm. Either that or Dumas is secretly a pirate. Also, we could den Fall jetzt abschließen. I can't stand. It's crooked paintings. A wash basin? When did this place get so fancy? It appears someone is due. Wir können ihn jetzt direkt festnehmen lassen. Oder wir versuchen, den geheimen Raum zu finden. Falls wir ihm vertrauen. Ähm. Ich möchte beide Varianten mal gerne austesten. Insofern. Suchen wir erst einmal nach dem geheimen Raum. Perfect servant must behave. There are way more important things to come. Oh, dear God, no. nothing Das hat bestimmt was mit diesem Klavier zu tun. Lass mich ein bisschen überlegen, okay? Entschuldigt, bis ich, dass ich ruhig bin. Ähm... Oh, Mr. Perfect servant must behave. What's that supposed to mean? Hello again. Hello. Did your mother try to get you withdrawn from the university? As a matter of fact, she did. Just another one of the many ways she tried interfering with my life. What happened, exactly? Mother wrote the university requesting that I be withdrawn. I found out about it when the enrollment office contacted me. I couldn't believe it at first. I thought it was some sort of mistake, but then they showed me the letter. I take it you were upset. More than upset, Mr. Fordham. I was furious. I was trying to make a real life for myself. One that wasn't about dresses or debutante balls or fending off suitors. I'd been given the chance to make something of myself, and Mother was ready to bring it all crashing down, just because she didn't agree with it. But in the end, you're still here. Yes, Jean stepped in and fixed everything. He didn't have to do it, but it was very good of him. I'm afraid that was the beginning of the end of my relationship with Mother. We never really managed to fix things after that. No more questions. Then if Fordham, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Wait, what am I saying? Of course you are. Madame Dupre has been interfering with Juliet's studies and disapproved of her relationship with Martin, hence they're falling out. Plus the information in Juliet's notes about ethericity, putting animals into a death-like trance, seems awfully suspicious. It's enough to establish both means and motive. That's plenty to consider her a suspect. Ah, okay. Könnten also jetzt quasi losgehen und sie verhaften lassen und sie hat es nicht getan. Das heißt, insofern haben wir bereits, ne? Ähm, ein Vorteil. This found probably look. This found. 
with her vast sub instead. Doctor, please. I hope. Ah. Uh. A perfect servant must behave. And now you'll taste an early grave. Me so far, Ray. In the middle, see? So long, Birdie. Bye bye. Okay. There's nothing here. That beast better not have misled us, or he'll be roasting on a spit for sure. There's nothing here. That beast better not have misled us, or he'll be roasting on a spit for Okay, warte, ich muss noch mal ganz kurz. A perfect And now you'll taste an early grave. Me so far, Ray. In the middle, see? Me so far, Ray, in the middle, see? Me so far, Ray. Sorry. Ich checke gerade gar nichts. Das Sofa fiel mir noch ein, aber darauf können wir nicht zugreifen. I have some. All right. Did you know Guy Dumas? The old gardener? Sure, I knew him. We didn't talk very much. He was just a servant after all, but he seemed like a nice man. He stopped coming around about two months ago. Too bad, really. He did a good job of keeping the gardens looking nice. The new one is all right, but he just doesn't have that special touch Guy did. Were you familiar with a servant named Celine? Yes, I believe she was one of the maids. I didn't talk to her very much. Oh, she quit not so long ago. At least I assume she did. I haven't seen her in about three months. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Nochmal, sorry. A perfect servant must behave. And now you'll taste an early grave. Me so far, Ray. In the middle, see? An early grave? Me? So far? Ray. Ich bin so kurz davor, so ganz kurz und That's an old uniform. This must be Madame Dupre's first husband. This must be Madame Dupre. Was fehlt mir? Natürlich. Mi so fa re. Ah Gott. Okay, ich wusste es. Also. E. Mi. E G. Mi so. E G F. D. Und dann das mittlere C. Wow, ich hab's. <lacht> Glaube ich, hoffe ich. Also. E, G, F, D. That seems to have done something. Dear God. The gardener. This does not look good. He's dead. You should inform Dr. Fellows about this right away. It seems Guy was telling the truth after all. Yes, it would probably be a good idea to let him know of this development. The gardener. Oh, shit. Guy? Y yes? I... I found the secret room you told oh, me about. shit. You see? I wasn't lying. No, you certainly weren't. There was someone inside. A man. No. Who? I'm not sure, but I can only assume it was one of Madame Dupre's servants. 
Was he all right? I'm afraid not. He was dead. Dr. Fellows confirmed it was due to asphyxiation. Madame Dupre must have put him in there before I drugged her. And then, with everything that's happened, she didn't let him out in time. Oh my god, it's my fault he's dead. No. If only I'd known. The circumstances are quite unfortunate, Mr. Dumas. However, this has shed a new light on Madame Dupre and her cruel practices. I can't say for certain that you were justified in your actions, but... I am a bit reluctant to say you were completely at fault. But the bottom fact is that Mr. Martin has been falsely accused of this crime. If I were to let you go, he would be punished in your place. Unless... Yes? I'm going to need you to write me a letter, Mr. Dumas. Of course, Mr. Fordham. Anything to take care of this mess. Good. Hopefully now this whole grim affair can be brought to an end. <sighs> That's all for right now, but I'll be back. Yes, Mr. Fordham. I'll be here. Er ist ein ehrlicher Mensch. Das ist schon mal gut. No, document. Here. I, Guy Dumas, of sound mind and body, hereby confess to the attempted murder of Madame Dupre. He looks up... He looks upset. Best not bother him unless you have some... Aber er hat es ja nie für... Naja gut, es war Attempted Murder insofern, ne? Can we talk? Go on, I'm listening. I think I'm ready to wrap this case up. Okay, who's your prime suspect? Condemn, equipped, warte mal. <lacht> Was heißen diese beiden Worte? Oh Gott, also beschuldigen wir oder wir sprechen Gaidumas frei. Ähm ich bin froh, dass ich gerade gespeichert habe, denn ich weiß gerade ehrlich gesagt nicht wirklich, was diese beiden Varianten bedeuten sollen. It was Guy Dumas, a former servant at Dupre Manor. He used toxic plants to drug Madame Dupre, so she appeared dead, which he learned about from her daughter's school books. What was his motive? That's the thing. I've learned that Madame Dupre is extremely cruel to her servants. She regularly beats them, and even has a secret room no bigger than a coffin where she places them as punishment. I discovered this secret room and found a dead servant inside. He had died from asphyxiation. My God. A few months ago, Madame Dupre beat Guy's lover Celine to death. He wanted revenge and intended to make Madame Dupre suffer the trauma of being interred alive. I see. Constance, I don't think Dumas should be arrested for his crime. He doesn't deserve it. Madame Dupre, however... Yes, I see what you're saying, and I agree, but what about Mr. Martin? I got a signed confession from Mr. Dumas. You can see the handwriting matches this note I found in the cemetery. That should be enough to release Mr. Martin, as well as giving Guy a head start in his escape from the city. It's gonna be tricky getting the department to look into this, but with the proof you've gathered, it should work. Excellent investigating, Fordham. I knew you still had it in you. And of course I'll dip into the department's Good Samaritan Fund to get you proper compensation for your work. For now, go home to your wife. I'm sure I'll have something else for you to look into fairly soon. Good evening. I'm looking for Madame Laura Dupre. This is Madame Dupre. I am her personal physician, Dr. Fellows. May we help you, officer? Yeah, hello, Chen. I'm afraid I must place Madame Dupre under arrest. What? On what charge? Several, actually. Manslaughter, domestic violence, murder in the second degree. Shall I go on, or can we continue this at the police station? You won't have to worry about Madame Dupre anymore. She'll be in jail for a very long time. And Mr. Martin has been released with a full pardon as well. Thank you, Mr. Fordham. I appreciate your help and your trust. Think nothing of it. But you'll need to leave town as soon as you can. Have you made plans? I was thinking of heading south. New Britannia is too cold and dark. I want to find some place more like my home. Well, I wish you the best of luck, Mr. Dumas. Okay. 
Dabei fühle ich mich sogar ganz Addy, wo ist I'm Eddie? Home. Eddie? She must still be out at her hairdressing appointment. I'm glad we're alone because I wanted to talk to you about something. Yes, Bill, I know. I told you I'm doing my best to try and find the flower shop burglar. No, for once this isn't about him. This is about you. Me? About me? What about me? You want to talk about me? What about me? You can play dumb and deflect all you like with everyone else around you, but it won't work with me. I know exactly what you are thinking, and you know exactly what I'm going to say. You want to talk about how we did on this case? Yes, that's exactly right. Have you already forgotten the old days, Miles? Before I died, we were solving cases like nobody's business. You were one of the best detectives on the force. But ever since you started taking that soporific, your mind hasn't been as sharp as before. If you're serious about taking on more complex cases, you need to listen to Adelaide and stop taking it. It's already had a negative effect on your performance. What are you Boss? talking about? We were able to discover the truth about Madame Dupre. Yes, but if you were working at your full abilities, you'd have come to that conclusion much sooner. If I stop taking it, you won't let me sleep through the night. Nothing will change. Well, things would change if you found you know who. I thought you said we weren't going to talk about that right now. Yeah, well, I say a lot of things. An understatement if ever there was one. Can't you just keep quiet without me having to take something? Afraid not, old friend. That's just not who I am or how this works. If you keep me up all night, I'll go crazy. Things have been hard enough as it is. And if, God forbid, Adelaide were ever to find out about... Hello, Miles. Is there someone else here? I thought I heard you talking just now. Fantastic. The jig is up. And here I thought we were doing so well, too. No, I was just going over the case. Thinking aloud, you see. Ah, uh, of course. How was your appointment? Mrs. Lefebvre was her usual bossy and overly picky self, but she gave me a very generous tip. That's good. So I stopped by the shop on the way home and bought a new deck of cards. Excellent. Shall we have a few rounds of écarté? I believe you demanded a rematch last time we played. Yes, that would be nice. Well, you certainly managed to dodge that bullet. I only wonder how much longer you'll manage before one finally hits you. Net. Ja, das war Lamplay City, meine Freunde. Soweit zumindest die Demo. Ähm, soweit ich mitbekommen habe, erscheint das vollständige Spiel am 13. September. Und ich glaube, vorher darf ich auch gar nicht mehr zeigen als diesen ersten Fall hier. Ähm, insofern, ja, würde ich mal sagen, für, möchte ich gerne noch äh, hier was ranhauen. Und zwar möchte ich gerne natürlich nochmal hier kurz ein kleines Video ranhauen, wie ich quasi, was passieren würde, wenn wir jetzt zum Beispiel Juliet äh, in den Knast schicken würden, weil wir die kompletten Folgen des Ganzen wahrscheinlich niemals herausfinden können, denn wir können ja noch nicht in die nächsten Fälle reinschauen, ihr versteht. Ähm, auf jeden Fall danke ich euch allen fürs Zuschauen bis hier. Zwei Stunden hat das Ganze jetzt gerade gedauert, also bei dieser Aufnahmesession quasi. Huiuiuiuiui. Spannend, interessant. Ich habe teilweise, so war ich so in Gedanken, dass ich vollkommen vergessen habe, dass ich ja eigentlich reden sollte, um euch irgendwie zu unterhalten. Ansonsten kann man ja auch ein Gameplay draus machen <lacht> und das Ganze nicht Let's Play nennen, falls man sowas heutzutage überhaupt noch so nennt. Ähm, nein, ich hoffe, es hat euch auch gefallen. Äh, lasst mich bitte, auf jeden Fall äh, würde ich mich sehr darüber freuen, ein paar Gedanken eurerseits vielleicht unten zu sehen in äh, Los Kommentaros. Ähm, fände ich ganz interessant tatsächlich, oder finde ich ganz interessant, ne? Was man so davon hält, so zum Zuschauen, zum Spielen ist das Ganze sehr interessant. Ich weiß nicht, ob ihr Spaß daran habt, da mitzuknobeln und so. Ähm, ja, was haltet ihr davon? Ich weiß gerade nicht, wie viel ich sagen kann. Es ist ja keine Review. Das ist ja quasi nicht so. Ähm, insofern muss ich mal gucken. Darf ich das überhaupt hochladen vor dem 13.? Wir werden es sehen. Ich muss mal auf die Mail kurz antworten. <lacht> okay, meine Lieben. Äh, wie gesagt, ich hoffe, es hat euch soweit gefallen. Und wir sehen uns auf jeden Fall gleich noch mal wieder in einem kurzen Video äh, oder in einem kurzen Anhängsel hier. Mal gucken, wie ich das schneiden werde, indem ich mal ein anderes Ende dieses Falls aufdrösel. Also, bis gleich.
So. I think I'm ready. Okay. It was Juliet Montgomery, Madame Dupre's estranged daughter. Her daughter? But why? Madame Dupre disapproved of Juliet's relationship with Mr. Martin and also tried to have her withdrawn from university. Juliet grew to hate her and wanted to be free of her overbearing and controlling influence. So how did she do it? Aside from studying botany, Juliet is also interested in ethericity. She rents a room in the Chum where she conducts her experiments. Among her notes, she talks about the ability to use the power to put living things into a death-like trance. Fiendish. Nice work, Fordham. I'll pass along the information and we can make an arrest. It'll be bittersweet news for Mr. Martin, I think. And of course I'll dip into the department's Good Samaritan Fund to get you proper okay. compensation for your work. For now, go home to your wife. I'm sure I'll have something else for you to look into fairly soon. Juliet Montgomery? Yes, may I help you with something? You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Madame Laura Dupre. What? But how can that be? Come with me, Miss Montgomery. We'll need to question you at the station. Okay. So geht das also aus. Addy. Jetzt kommt das hier. Can we talk? Go on, I'm listening. I think... Okay. It was Guy Dumas, a former servant at Dupre Manor. He used toxic plants to drug Madame Dupre so she appeared dead, which he learned about from her daughter's school books. What was his motive? Revenge. His lover was beaten to death, and he wanted Madame Dupre to suffer for it. Fiendish. Nice work, Fordham. I'll pass along the information and we can make an arrest. I'm sure Mr. Martin will be relieved. And of course I'll dip into the depart for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a moment. Diesmal fragt er nicht, wer da ist. Guy Dumas? Y yes? You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Madame Laura Dupre. <sighs> I suppose it was too much to expect Fordham to believe me. What was that? Nothing. I recommend you remain silent until you're questioned at the station. Come with me. Aww. Nee, das könnte ich nicht. <laughs> Addy, I'm home. Addy? No, it. You want to Na ja, gut, das war ganz interessant. Wir sehen uns nächstes Mal wieder. Und beim nächsten Projekt, wir werden sehen. Bis dahin, macht's gut. Okay.